All right, so this is a X5 diesel uh, E70. It's the transmission thermostat trading out. I had to get in here to replace the thermostat, so everybody said do this anyway while you're here. So coolant system is drained. Take this hose off the top from right there. Uh, I, when I first did this, I did not drain the cooling system, so when I unbolted this, coolant started coming out, and then also a transmission uh, ATF starts to come out of here as soon as you undo these and loosen them up. So I'm hoping I didn't get coolant contamination into the ATF, because if I did, that's going to suck. Um, I did buy this car, X5 has like a just over 100,000 miles on it. I just got it. So, uh, kind of going through everything, doing a coolant flush, doing a thermostat, uh, just little maintenance upkeep stuff that probably wasn't done. So I'm kind of going and doing all this as I go. Um, so yeah, I do have a, a pan and filter set up on the way for this. So yeah, instantly coolant starts rushing out. So this kind of, and that actually the coolant system is drained too, underneath on the very bottom of this. It's the lowest point in the cooling system. And you take off one of the uh, hoses and it drains, but apparently there's still coolant in this heat exchanger. So uh, this kind of sucks because I really don't want coolant getting mixed with the transmission fluid. Kind of loosen it a little bit and just kind of pull up and torque this a little bit just to get as much of the coolant to flow out and stop rushing out before this makes breaks the seal because the ATF is on this side. Uh, I wonder if that clip comes out and that will drain the coolant side. Hmm. I don't know. There's no real way to... This is the new one, but you can see there's no actual tab, no way to get that out. It's flush, so you can't just easily pry that side out. So, and this is the side that the coolant is in. So, hopefully that shit starts, stops running out. The last thing I want to do on this is replace the damn transmission. Uh, Alright. This coolant seems to not be running out too much anymore. And loosen this, ATF starts to slowly seep out. So hopefully, the ATF being hydrophobic, it pushed any coolant that tried to drain into it away. how much transmission fluid I'm going to lose in this process so I'm trying to catch whatever comes out that way I can potentially measure it and top off it likes to come out on both sides so just stuff that in here so that it run down the front I'm going to try to clean as much dirt and grime and shit off the top of the surface because you don't want that dirt getting in and between the seals. Let me take this off. Coolant, not too much. Not too much of an issue, but transmission. You do not want that shit floating around. And I don't know if this is pre-filter or post-filter, so I'm just being safe and learning as I go. running out anymore so start loosening these up the 
pieces are 10 millimeter. Nuts, because these are studs. And yeah, here comes the fluid. It's running out relatively slow. Hopefully it stays going slow. So I can just do a quick swap. coming out again. Fuck me. I want to kind of take this off slowly so I can check the mating surfaces and make sure everything is... That's not too bad. Oh shit, pull it rushing out the top. Just using my finger just to kind of... Want staying level in there, keeping the oil off the top. These are these big Q tips. I'm just gonna go around and try to clean as much grime off the mating surface as I can, just to try to be a little proactive. All right, I think it's good. It doesn't seem like there's more concern with coolant in the ATF than I am with ATF in the coolant. So hopefully this Oil between the seal should not affect the seal and make it leak. The biggest thing is making sure the mating surface is clean because that seal is going to squish out any fluid that's in the mating surface. But if you have dirt, grime, sand, any shit in between there, that's when you're going to get a leak. A lot less uh, ATF came out than I was anticipating. I thought I was going to lose at least a half a liter, but it doesn't seem to be the case. This is like six newton meters or something like that, but little M8 or M6. I think these are M6s. Six millimeter diameter. It's usually wrist tight and you're good. All right. Have brake clean. I'll spray down here and get all the shit out. Towel with some brake clean. Oh, yeah, that's that's the good stuff. So, fingers crossed, this uh, goes well. There's no, I haven't seen a how to on this in the BMW technical bulletin, just a drain cooling system and take this off and. Put the new one on. There's no 
special procedure to it, so you just kind of have to be safe and hopefully you don't cross-contaminate the two systems. Uh, it would be nice to bypass that completely and then run a external cooler and can turn on the radiator. I plan to tow a so about 6,000 pounds with this thing eventually, so that might be something I'll look into doing. Uh, so that seems like a win, hopefully. Just bring in some brake clean down here. Just to try to get as much TF. Up from seeping. Right. Give those bolts one last little double check. Good. Good. You want to make sure that they're tight. I'm not going to back off, but. When you tighten these down, you're, you want the gasket to do the sealing. You don't want to tighten the shit out of them. So that's pretty much it. Hopefully. And then this. Alright, so everything is pretty much back together. Pop that hose back on. Thermostat has been done. Clean this up. Looked like there was a, a soot leak around here. So clean that up a little bit. Uh, replace this hose right here. And you take the. Uh, this off the uh, intake tube off even when it was even though it was disconnected up here when you pull up it kind of breaks loose fast and it tore anyways so uh replace that tune my euro luckily has the uh, update for that uh updated custom one for that that the guy makes so that's cool uh, so yeah i mean Ready to roll? Oh, I was going to say, the cooling, how I drain the coolant is this fitting right here underneath on the right side if you're sitting in the car. Um, just disconnect that, pop that off, and then drain that. This is the lowest part of the cooling system, so, and I have not been able to find a drain plug on the radiator, so this is what I used. There's also a, a junction over here, but you don't have as much room to work over here, so, and you have slack in this tube, so. Much easier to drain it, drain the radiator from right here. But uh, yeah, should be it. Should be able to add some coolant and get this thing back on the road.